Okay, welcome back and uh, thank you for watching the YouTube channel. Uh, this video is going to be about the telemetry. This is the TM1000 Spectrum telemetry module. And uh, along with it comes this one wire. comes with lots of other wires, but the one that's most important is the wire that goes from the telemetry module that's plugged in here to the uh, data buying port of the uh, receiver. And um, so there's a, as you can see on this, there's a data port right here on this side. There's a data port. And um, uh, it'll only go in one way, so don't force it. <clears throat> and let's see, it goes in this way. <coughs> as you can see, the wet, red wire goes to the inside. Okay, and then the other thing you need is a sensor wire that you can, that the, the telemetry module comes with a bare wire uh, that you can solder up if you want to a, to a set of connectors. But you can also buy this sensor wire that already has the um, JR connectors, male and female, on each end. <clears throat> so I recommend getting these and uh, save yourself from soldering. <coughs> so this sensor wire um, has the same little connector on this end that goes into the um, temperature voltage um, connector in the middle. So I'll just put that in. Okay. And again, it can only go in one way. Like that okay so that is going to measure the voltage of the battery um, as it goes into the receiver so this is going to go into the data bind port of the receiver I'll go ahead and do that okay, that's in the data bind port of the receiver and now the battery, I'm going to unplug the battery switch. Um, and I'll explain this uh, um, bench vice in a minute. <clears throat> so, into, so from the um, telemetry module wire, the sensor wire that's in the um, temperature voltage outlet, um, plug that into the gear channel where you had just where I just removed the um, on side of the switch then the on side of the switch goes into the other end of that so we're still feeding power from the on side of the switch into the gear channel of the uh, telemetry module <clears throat> okay I've got a bench vise here, and the reason for that is the telemetry module has a little button right here. And that little button is pressed with a little device that comes with it. Let me pull it out of my box here. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So the little button on the side of the telemetry module right there, okay, side where you see the other connector, you take this little pointer thing and you press that down gently, but enough to press it. While you're turning the switch on, and that puts it in bind mode, okay? So the reason for this little bench vise is I can't hold everything at once, so I can use my pinky finger here to turn the switch on while my other hands here are pressing this um, little button okay so I'll do that in just a minute so that's all set battery's connected to the switch switch is connected to the sensor wire the sensor wire is connected to the gear channel and the sensor wire is also connected to the uh, temperature voltage 
So now the next thing to do is to program the radio. Okay, so I'm going to go into the radio. By the way, what you have to do is rebind this with the telemetry module in place to in order for the telemetry to work. So the first thing I'm going to go, do is in the function list, I'm going to scroll down to where it says telemetry, right there. Okay. And in the first uh, menu item there, it says empty. I'm going to click on it. And scroll twice until it says volts. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> although we're not using a LiPo battery, I'm going to change the 1S to a 2S because we're using nickel metal hydride. And that just gives you the, the default is all it's going to do for the minimum and maximum. I don't like those defaults anyways because 6 volts minimum is not what I like to see. I like to see it down to maybe 5.6. So the minimum voltage before I get a warning is 5.6. So if the voltage gets down to 5.6 I want the alarm to not be inhibited and I want that to be a voice. <clears throat> so I'll get a voice alarm when the voltage gets down to 5.6. Now the maximum voltage I don't care about uh, so I won't inhibit that. Then I want status reports on, on the voltage. Down at the bottom you see a status report and it's now inhibited and I'd rather have that every 30 seconds. <coughs> Your choice, you can make it a minute, I like 30 seconds. Sometimes I use a minute but most of the time I use 30 seconds. So the warning report says how often do you want the warning repeated? It can be if it's inhibited it's going to repeat immediately. So I'm going to have it repeat a warning every 15 seconds. So it gives you a warning and then if that is still in place 15 seconds later it'll give you another warning. <clears throat> and so that uh, that is all of the settings in the telemetry screen. Okay. Okay. We'll exit out of the main screen and turn this off. Because we're doing a, a bind this has to start with being off. Okay, so um, I'm going to now do the telemetry bind, which means I'm going to hold the telemetry module. I'm going to take my little stylus pencil here, and I'm going to press that button. At the same time, I'm turning the switch on with my little pinky finger here, and that will turn everything into bind mode. You'll see these things flashing orange. I'm going to grab this, go off camera, y'all. We should need to be at least three feet away from the um, module um, to the radio. And uh, we'll see if this works. Doesn't always work first time. If it doesn't, it's okay. Let's try again. All right, so here we go. The switch is all wired up. Everything looks wired up. So I'm going to get my pinky finger ready. I'm going to press and hold the little button on the side of the telemetry module. Turn it on and you can see everything flashing. I'm going to get over here and turn the radio on. Okay, flight pack no data buying complete. You heard it say the word telemetry I hope. <clears throat> so now what you get to see is if you scroll with the scroll button here, there's a tel one telemetry screen. Okay. Let's see, I think there's four screens maybe. That's the first telemetry screen. Scroll one more. Flight that's a, that's a, volts. says flight pack 6.2 volts. That's been 30 seconds. So the receiver says it's 6.4. The telemetry voltage says 6.2. There's always a slight difference, not sure why, between the, the voltage pack and the telemetry, um, the receiver. Um, and then there's a min-max screen here. So those are the screens that you get to see. I usually leave it on this screen because it's nice big. Light pack, 6.2 volts. So it's talking to me every 30 seconds. Really, I leave it to the main screen and I can watch the time. This screen here shows you the time and the two voltages, which is nice. If you want to leave it on that screen, that's okay. <clears throat> so.
So uh, we now have telemetry working. And that's as simple as you can get. <clears throat> um, the bind worked first time. That's good. Um, it doesn't. Okay. That might get annoying after every 30 seconds, but that's okay. You got a choice of making it longer if you want. I like to hear that. And um, so that's the telemetry, how to bind it, how to set up the screens, and what the screens look like. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.